now i am going to explain about filtering filtering long data sequences so there are two different methods that are commonly used for filtering r one is overlap save method and second one is overlap add method Okay, so first we have to see about overlap save method. So in this method, the input sequence, which is represented as x of n of length l, and next one is the impulse response, which is represented as h of n, which is having length m. Okay. So in this overlap save method, the entire input signal which is divided into blocks of size l plus m minus one. So this is the size of each block. Okay. So now first x of if you take x of n, x of n is equal to. Okay. So I am taking. X of zero, x of one, and so on. X of m minus one, so l minus one. Okay, so this is the uh, some block of data. So in this block of data, the first step is add m minus one zeros here. Okay. Add m minus one zeros, zero zero, and so on. Okay, so this is x one of n. This is one block of data, and the second block of data is equal to the the inputs of the end of the inputs, which is taken here. Which is taken here, so that is x of x of total length is l. Total length is l minus m plus one. Okay, and so on. X of l minus one. Okay, next x of one, and so on up to. X of two l minus one, x of two l minus one. So these inputs, so these inputs are called last m minus one data of sequence x of n. That means this data. Will be taken here. Okay, so if you find out x three of n, which is equal to, so you have to take this data from x three of three, the last m minus one data sequence of x two of n. Okay, so after that, after dividing all a uh, total x of n into different blocks, next you have to find out y of n. So y of n is equal to y i of n is equal to x i of n circular convolution with h of n. Okay, by using this formula, you have to find out total y of n. Okay, let us see one example for overlap save method. Let us see this example. Let the total length of the sequence l is equal to fifteen, and the length of impulse response is three. Let the length of each block is five. Okay. Now the input sequence is divided into blocks. Input sequence is means what? X of n is divided into different blocks. So that is the first step of overlap save method is what? So you have to add m minus one zeros. Here, what is the value of m? 
M is represented as impulse response is M. M is equal to what? 3. For M is equal to 3. How many number of zeros you have add M minus 1. That is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 zeros. Okay. That is 0 comma 0. And I am taking the, uh, uh, the inputs as X of 0, X of 1 and X of 2. Okay. So now each block like the length of length of each block is how many how much number 5 length is 5 okay second step is what so this is x of n x2 of n is equal to okay so you have to take these two last two data from the sequence x of n that is x1 of 1, x of 2. Okay. Next. So you have to take x of 3, x of 4 and x of 5. Again the length is C. The length is 5. So x2 of n sequence length is also 5. Again, you have to take x of 4, x of 5. So, this is x3 of n, which is equal to x of 4, x of 5. So, again, you have to take x of 6, x of 7 and x of 8. Okay. So, now, again, this is also length of 5. Again, you have to take these two. the first of x4 of n that is x of 7 x of 8 x of 9 and x of 10 x of 11 ok so see now again you have to take these two to x5 of n that is x of 10 x of 11 x of 12 x of 13 and x of 14. Okay. So, again the length is 5. Okay. So, after that if you take x6 of n x6 of n again you have to take x of 13 comma x of 14. Okay. So, now x of 15 x of 15 means so, you have to end before 15. Why? Here the total length of the sequence L is equal to what? 15. So, before 15 you have to stop. So, X of 15. Again you have to add here is number of zeros. Total number of zeros. So, here how many number of zeros are added to get the length of the sequence as 5? So, you have to add 3 number of zeros. Okay, so here also the total length is what? 5. So after getting different blocks, how many blocks here? Total 6 blocks. After getting 6 blocks of data, you have to find, you have to find y1 of n is equal to x1 of n circular convolution with h of n. y2 of n is equal to what? x2 of n circular convolution with h of n y3 of n is equal to what x3 of n circular convolution with h of n so in the same way for y4 of n y5 y of 5 y of n and y6 of n is nothing but n x6 of n circular convolution with h of n okay so this is the overlap save method.